Hi, we are Roberto Team, which is going to represent Uruguay in the Junior Rescue Line on Robocup France 2021. I'm Nicolas and I'm 19 years old. I'm Joel and I'm 17 years old. I'm Florencia and I am 17 years old. I'm Alex and I am 16. We are students from the Ciudad de los Arrillos, uh, which is in a small city at 40 kilometers of the capital city Montevideo. In our high school, there is 500 students uh, between the ages of 12 and 18 years old. Robotics isn't a compulsory subject, but rather we attend to workshops extracurricularly. In 2019, we participated in SUMO, a competition organized by Facultad de Ingeniería and qualified for the RoboCup. Our robot is called Robeco, since the subject of the competition in SUMO was ecology. For that instance, we worked with Lego, but now to prepare for France, we began to work with Arduino. We started from scratch, both in programming and hardware, since the only thing we had at the beginning was a small set from our mentor Isabel. Little by little, we have been learning to program and how the different components work. Our robot is still in process. The pandemic has affected us, like all of us. Now we work from our homes, virtually. The suspension of the RoboCab generated a lot of anxiety, but we understood that it is a situation that requires everyone's responsibility in order to get ahead. So we started working from our homes, and that was also an apprenticeship. Until then, we kept meeting, even in summer even though we were on holiday. One of the most positive things that all this had is that we learned not only new skills, but to respect each other and work together. We must admit that at first it was a little bit difficult, but we managed to divide the tasks and trust in the work of the other. So, do you want to meet Rebecca? But remember, it's still a prototype. Since we are going to participate in RoboCop Junior Rescue Line, our robot boss, follow lines, dodge obstacles, recognize colors, go up and down hills, and detect and collect objects. To be able to do that, Robeco has many parts. A sensor array to follow the line. Each one of these can detect if there is more or less light, or we can say black or white. And because the line flag on a white floor the sensor array can be used as a line follower. An ultrasonic sensor that may Robeco be able to measure distance and recognize options. It uses an ultrasonic wave that hits an object and way back to the sensor. We also have a color sensor and it will be useful to know where to go on an intersection or at the end. If there is green on the left side, Robeco must go on to the left. If there is green on the right side, Robeco must go on to the right. If there isn't green, Robeco must go on. And if there is green on both sides, Robeco must turn back. Finally, we are working on how he could collect the objects. We have two ideas. Make a glow so he can grab it using Lego, or doing a ramp so he can accelerate toward the objects and pick it up. We are actually working on the design. We are using Tinkercad and we print the different parts of our robot in a 3D printer that our high school have. One of the main difficulties that we have encountered is money. Our institute doesn't have resources, so we have bought some things with the money that the school management gave us. This has slowed our work down because now we need things that we couldn't get yet. Fortunately, all the students in our high school support us, also families, friends and all the local community. A program TV also visited us as a way of divulge our work to ask for donations. 
In connection to our work, we try to work in different modules, and despite we all work, we divided it uh, by the abilities that we have. For example, I like programming, uh, Florencia loves the part of design, she is very patient. Um, Nicolas also likes programming uh, and designing the 3D printer. And Alex finds solutions when we don't see them, mainly in connections. We know that we have a lot of work yet, but we trust we'll be able to compete with Robeco in good conditions. We are working on it, now from home, but always as a team with the support of our mentor, students and people from Facultad Ingeniería. Thanks for watching and see, see you in France! France.